Hey guys, and welcome back to Tormented Souls. When we last left off, we got horribly murdered, which was a little bit awkward. The combat system is incredibly clunky. Now, I have obviously had to replay uh, back through the game. Uh, I've just kick-started the generator again. For some reason, I found a lot more items. I don't know. I'm guessing items aren't randomized. I'm guessing I just missed some. So, we actually have 27 um, nails with 10 in the gun. Uh, I also, in the room that we started off in when we were naked, there was extra clothes as well. There was costume B, which I actually humongously prefer. I actually really prefer this costume. I think it looks really freaking cool. So we're going to stick with it for now. Um, I would say if anybody wants me to wear the other costume, let me know. But these videos are going to be recorded so far in advance that <laughs> it's probably not going to help. But yeah, this, this looks a lot better to me. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, I kind of like that. But that looks more like it should be an unlockable costume because it's just really bizarre to me. Uh, whereas that, I think, looks far more normal and far more, you know, reasonable for this sort of situation. All right. Uh, also, I found an extra vial of morphine. Now, I don't know if I found more nails. I don't know if the boxes give you slightly randomized amounts. I'm not sure. Now, I did find another diary. Which was... This one, I think? Yeah, this one. I don't think we got this. Today is one of the happiest days of my life. William came running into the room, searching for something. His eyes traveled around the room, giving me no more than a few seconds of attention. But when he looked at me again, his eyes wide open. Uh, William came to me, put a hand on my forehead. He pressed his fingers to my wrist and looked at me for a few seconds. Unbelieving, his voice faltered when he spoke. We're going to have a baby, he said. I felt sick. Is that good sick, bad sick? We don't know. William took the rest of the day off. He acted like a child, laughing, speaking of the future, holding my hand the whole time. That night, we heard a noise coming from underground. It sounded like metal being struck over and over. We could not find sleep until early morning. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, bit odd. Sure. Okay. So... We can go back into the x-ray room, but I don't think there's any point. We might as well just get out of here. We can't go into the morgue. So, because the morgue's locked from the other side. Uh, I haven't defeated that enemy in there either. Oh, and I also discovered this, too. This. We can actually use this as a weapon. Somehow. I can't remember how. There we go. Yeah, we can use that as a weapon. I don't know how effective that is. Kind of makes me think a little bit of Silent Hill. But that's not a bad thing. Question mark. But we are going to stick with the lighter for now. Anyway, let's go. Door is unlocked. Nice. So there's Mr. Wheelchair Man. We're just going to cheese it past him. He doesn't, he doesn't really seem to be an awful lot of a threat, to be honest. So... Maybe we'll put him down when we've got a little bit more equipment. Anyway, let's go. Now. In here. Here should have a lot more things. Now, what I am noticing is it is very, very, very easy to miss items. It is so easy to miss items because unless you're literally right on top of the item, um, they don't really highlight. 
Now that door was locked from the other side. Could go back and save it, I suppose. <sighs> this door. I mean, we've got this thing. Examine. Can we examine? It's a hex end socket. It's missing a handle. It is. Can we use that somewhere? Nothing happens. Alright. Well, I mean, I guess we can't do anything with that. But we've got some uh, rooms that we've opened up, haven't we? Now, I don't know if there's going to be, like, more costumes and things to find. I'm going to say probably. Now, I haven't been into any of these rooms yet. Let's have a look in maternity. Maintenance crew logbook. Uh, Lucius Houston. Evening shift. Electrical maintenance. The nurse told me that a lamp was malfunctioning in the maternity ward. When I turned on the lights, I could see that one of the bulbs in the wall was indeed flickering. As I was getting ready to change it, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by the shoulders, pushing me back with strength unimaginable for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I can't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. The lamp. There's an iffy lamp, apparently. Noted. Some more ammo. A clip of nails. Nice. Is it? I guess it's not dark in here, so we should probably select a gun, I guess. Alright, what else have we got? It's full of various medicines. Any morphine for us? That would be nice. I guess not. Still no flick. Oh, hello. What the hell's going on over here? Various medicines again. Uh. <laughs> um. Okay. Her chest was left open in the middle of a procedure. The heart is missing. Oh. Right, yeah, we, we read about this. Her fist is tightly clenched from rigor mortis. Nothing happens. Ooh. Right, so we need to put something in... Oh. It doesn't fit. So we need to put something in her heart, I guess. Or in her chest cavity. Could it possibly be this? Doesn't fit. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll come back to that then. Ah, there's the flickering lamp. Oh. Okay. Now, I wonder what was wrong with that woman. Is she old? Oh, she had the weak heart, didn't she? The water is switched off. So, ooh. That's a very weird camera transition there. So, we need the wrench that she has in her hand. Yeah, this is weird. Like, I don't know when this game is set. Uh, there's information saying 1994 on some of the things, but this looks a lot older than 1994. There's the thing over here. Okay. I guess we're going to go downstairs to the little room. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We still haven't saved it, have we? Seven-inch tape. Now, I don't know how dark is dark in this game. Ooh, mirror. Various mannequins, mannequin, mannequins are kept under the sheets. Ooh. Is this Father Pedophile's area? The music is swelling. What was that? Various mannequins, yeah. Can't do anything with that. 
All right, let's not overlook the elephant in the room any longer. Uh, oh. Do we light the candles? Oh, we do. Okay. All right. That was the low-hanging fruit game. What the fuck? What the hell is going on here? Okay, so we've stepped through a portal of sorts. Well, there's a weird Pilbury Doughboy in here. Right, before we do anything in the little room, let's try and drop a save. Because I don't really want to have to do all of this again. I mean, I will, because that's, you know, the way it goes. But let's just fucking drop a save. Uh, safe state was back here, I think. And there's also another couple of doors back here, too. So. Yeah. We couldn't go through. No, we could go through there. Uh, where was. Oh, wait. Actually, the save room was through here. Yeah, this. Oh, there's an. Oh, there's a couple of those dudes. Oh, the uh oh, oh no, the combat! Oh, the combat! It's really fucking slow. I'm just gonna save it before anything bad has a chance to happen. I'm just gonna, just gonna save it. Now, yeah, because there's no heart in there, is there? No. Right, before we yeah get into any serious combat. So I've just got a horrible feeling that we're going to repeatedly die. An old magnetophone. It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. Yeah. I guess so. My name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burger Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation machine and my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? Mm. I was going to say, she hasn't seemed that bothered about it up until now. I don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? Mm. Okay, so the story's quite interesting. Like, uh, or at least it seems to be quite interesting. I'm, I'm on the hook, shall we say. Oh god, that's great, isn't it? That's fucking lovely. Yeah. Um. Right. We're dead. Okay. The combat is definitely going to take some getting used to. Let's try. Let's try how effective the beating stick is. Yeah, not a fan of this combat at all. Um, it, it's obviously taking cues from Resident Evil, but it's worse <laughs> than Resident Evil. Actually, no, that's not fair. I'd say it's more like Silent Hill. The trouble with it is it's really slow. Like, to go into a stance and, like, you've got that dodge mechanic, but, I mean, when you're braced up against the wall, it doesn't do anything. And, of course... If the enemies have ranged attacks, which are 
Apparently they do. Yeah, that doesn't doesn't really help us. So, hmm. Okay. The combat is yeah, and he's literally stuck right outside. Right. Okay. Ooh. That's powerful. And we can actually hit multiple enemies. Whether they're actually dying from this. Right, he's dead. Yeah, so we also can't stun lock these enemies, which is something else worth noting. Right, he's dead as well. Yeah, we. Oh, the doll's actually moved. Doll gives me the creeps. Yeah, that doll thing's actually moved. Yeah, so, like, one negative criticism I would have about this game so far is just the combat. It really is not good. And I guess it's probably not good by design, but, you know. Let's go to the dentist room. Ooh. Ooh. We have beasties. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, what's... Right. So we attack. Okay. Hit him once. Yeah, but the trouble is, because of that stupid melee attack, you can't really... Um, there's no tell for when they're going to do that that melee attack so just skipping back and dodging doesn't really save you I wonder if whether more of a hit him a couple of times run around him but then I don't know are we yeah we're in danger okay okay right William Wildberger's diary again don't we have one of these? September, uh, some, uh, 17th of September, 1941. As I crept quietly behind my father, the clock struck 1.30 a.m. I saw him enter the mausoleum after placing three elements on some kind of board. He went through quietly. I followed him at a distance, trying not to make a sound, for I did not want to be caught. At mother's tomb, my father sank to his knees and rested his hands on the cold, sculpted marble figure of his wife. He began praying. I felt guilty following him, seeing the cold and calculating man this way moved me. I was about to leave him when father stood up and approached the angel statue. Mother's marble tomb moved slowly to the side and exposed a narrow staircase leading into darkness he climbed down the stairs i hesitated for a moment my legs not wanting to take another step but was able to stand and follow him down once inside i heard metallic sounds and the echo of running water a few moments later i bumped into a ladder i climbed down and found myself in a long stone tunnel covered in pipes and sewage I saw Father's silhouette turning a corner and hurriedly followed. Before me appeared a huge metallic door and a group of men wearing strange suits like those worn to protect from radioactivity. Ah, each carried a giant hammer. My father joined the group and they received him by hitting their hammers together. A hospital bed on each side of the group carried what appeared to be bodies covered in sheets. My father put one, put on one of the disturbing suits. In my frightened stupor, I loosened a brick from the wall. It smashed against the floor with the sound of a thousand buildings crashing down. I could feel their eyes turn to me as I fled back the way I came, their guttural voices screaming to catch me whilst they hit their hammers on the ground. Ooh. Interesting. Medical books. So they're creating people or something. Some more ammo. Yeah, we're going to have to switch up to the nailer, I think. Alright. So, hell. Ooh. X-ray images. Help.
freaky. So what are these things then? These must be what they're creating. Some kind of mutant monsters. Ah, look, human organ. I bet that's going to have another piece of the heart in. Yep. The right side of the plastic heart. Water is switched off. I don't know if water is going to be a thing. Drugs in this cabinet are neatly arranged. Hey, nice. Definitely need that. Smoke them if you got them, I guess. Right, let's combine these two things. We've created a heart, which I thought we was going to put in that mannequin, but maybe not. Um... So we need two morphines to refill our health. Surgical tools, they don't appear to be in good condition. I don't think anything here is in good condition, Caroline. Yeah, okay. So as soon as I walked into this room, I kind of readied my gun. But it actually took about a second for the gun to come up. Or the nailer, I guess. Alright. So, delivery room. Now, we need to go back. It's not the pharmacy we want. Oh, yeah, it's the pharmacy that has the... Um, the pharmacy is the one with the puzzle on the door. Okay. It's not the morgue we need, is it? Where was it? There we go. Oh, the maternity wards, the one with the woman in. Yeah. Right. We're getting some very strange readings from this as well. Let's try. It doesn't fit. Okay. So that's not what we put in there. Interesting. Nothing happens. Can we not fucking crowbar that shit out of her hand? Her fist is tightly clenched. Now we could go back under there. Um, we could use the heart. So maybe you do put the heart on that plastic um, thing. Now where was that? Where was the plastic thing? What's back up here, I think? Right. Now, where is this enemy? Wait for her to lock on. It wasn't... No, it wasn't in the restroom. Right, let's see how many shots it actually takes to kill this thing. Right, let's stick and move. Stick and move, this fucker. So it doesn't take a huge amount of ammo, but, you know, it takes enough. Um, right, so there's actually another door there that we can fiddle with. Okay. Right, let's load up. I can't help but think her outfit reminds me of something. Yeah, this is where we woke up. But there wasn't anything in here, was there? Not even our eyeball. Where was the... Where was the fucking statue? Or the mannequin, I should say, really. Go through there. This was the dentist room, right, yeah. I think, is it... Was it in the save room, maybe? Might have been in the save room. So, bodies of enemies don't disappear. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, right, okay. Because otherwise, this... We can't do anything with that. We can't... Detailed mannequin of the human torso. Right... 
so... What can we do with this, then? Can't smash it. Okay, so I assumed it was going to be this. Combine? No. Uh, Alright, maybe not then. Okay, well, let's go into that little weird other side room then, shall we? Yeah, I'm not a fan of these things still being dead on the floor at all. That's a little bit strange. Where? Right, that was back in the maternity ward, wasn't it? And it looks like wherever that leads is a pretty freaking grisly place. Now this mansion doesn't really seem to be too big at the moment, which is fine. Definitely uh, not going to complain about that. Let's go in strapped. Okay, now is there any other goodies in here that we've missed? I don't think so. And why is everything wrapped up in sheeting? Oh man, it's fucking dark in here. Which is awkward, because it means we need to... ...use the bloody light. Oh! Alright, that just leads... Oh! This is like Silent Hill then. Yeah, this is kind of like Silent Hill where you go into like the other side, I guess. Run. Uh oh, or not. Shoot him a couple of times. Then move. Come on. There we go. He's gone. Alright, sort of getting the use of the combat a little bit now. Okay. Although, we're running through our ammo crazy quick. Surgical tools. They don't appear to be... Okay. Right, okay. Ah, it seems almost alive for a moment. That was cool. Water is still switched off. So there's like an alternate area. Get some more ammo. Nice. How much did we get? Oh, huh. we got locks. We had 27 spare. I can't open it. We had 27 spare. And now we've got 37. Or 25, I should say. Now we've got 37. So we picked up 12 nails. That's nice. Oh. Won't budge. Need to force it somehow. Is that everything? So, I guess we're going to have puzzles that we're going to have to do in this, like, weird alternate place. Hmm. Yeah, definitely getting more of a Silent Hill vibe than a Resident Evil. Okay. Well, let's go back through to the other side. And I'm guessing now we can go get that thing that the woman had. Oh, look. Her chest has been closed up. Okay. She's alive again now. Metal tea handle. Missing a socket. So, we've somehow saved her. Cool. I mean, sure. Right, so now we have the hex socket. Okay. Where did we need a hex socket to? Hmm. Right. Let's get out of here. Ooh. I think that was her. Screaming. Oh. She's gone. I 
wonder where the hell she went then. I wonder if she's going to become some kind of enemy. That was... That was cool. Is she going to be like a patient walking around here now? A photo of a nurse standing next to a patient. Yeah. Right. So what do we have? Uh... We have. There's nothing. I don't think we can do anything in there. Let's take another look at this B door. We do anything with. I thought that teapot was steaming then. Ah, uh, right. And it won't budge. Right, let's use that. Nothing happens. Okay, so I guess not then. So, what do we have? We've got a crowbar. Which we can't do anything with. We don't really have much of anything. But, somewhere, we're going to have to use this... Morgue boiler room. I don't think we went to the... Did we go to the boiler room? We went to the generator room. We haven't been through there yet. Have we been through the morgue? <sighs> boiler room. Yeah, unless there's more to explore down here, I guess. Uh, we can't go through there because it's shut. All right, let's go back down into the weird, nasty basement. I don't think there's anything we can do in there, is there? I'm trying to think, have we seen anywhere that we need a he Ah, maybe there is, actually. Oh, yeah, we've got Mr. fucking... Ah, shit, I forgot about him. I don't know where. Come on. We, we're hitting him. We're hitting him. Right, let's go. Let's go. Really? Alright, that was lucky. Okay. That was very fucking lucky. Uh, let's get our torch back out. Yeah, you can't really... Yeah, we know. We can't really tell when um, she's aiming at an enemy very easily. So we've got that there. There's... There's a load of... There's just stuff everywhere. Do not run. I mean, that looks really ominous, the way those two lamps are, the, are just kind of put there. Kind of makes me think that there's something that we can do there, but I guess not. Now, what was going on? That was locked from the other side. Okay. So, that's definitely a no-go. I wonder if we're going to get any better weapons. It's a bit weird that we're just running around with a, a nail gun of all sorts. Of all things, I should say. Um, it's not plugged in. Father's still there. Mr. Creepo. That's cool. I guess. Now, is there anything that we can do around here? I'm going to say I don't think so. No. I guess we could talk to Father again? You may find what you're looking for in the library. How can I find the library? It's on the second floor of the East Wing. Take the stairs in the main hall. Oh, you'll need to unlock the door in the waiting room. Thank you. Ah, interesting. Second floor, East Wing. There's the, right, there's the waiting, oh, right, the waiting room, yeah. 
Ah, okay. So maybe we can now just go straight through there. Should we have a look? Let's go have a look. Thanks, father. You've done us a real solid. Yeah, because it... Yeah, they said something about needing a key there, didn't it? But... Wow, well, I don't even think it mentioned a key. I think it mentioned a tool, maybe? I like the fact that the bodies stay. It's... Different, <laughs> I guess. It is different. Makes me wonder if they're going to, like, reanimate and come back at some point. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Nope. Next. What we need to do to open that door, I have no idea. Nope. We don't want to go through there. Where was the waiting room? Waiting room was close to where we... There we go. Waiting room. Very tempted to drop down a save. Because I don't really want to die, but... There we go. Good old father PD file. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to cut it here. We're going to continue on in the next part because I don't really want to waste my save ribbon thing. Um, and we... Haven't well, we've made a lot of progress actually, but I don't know when we're gonna get another save. So yeah, and I don't really want to risk minimizing this game either until we've saved it again. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm actually really enjoying this. This is this is really fun. I'm looking forward to seeing where it's going. What the hell's going on with the story? I'm guessing there's some weird out otherworldly stuff going on. Puzzles haven't been too bad so far. And I do like this whole evil mirror side thing. That's really cool. Um, I'm guessing that's going to be a big thing going forwards. Uh, solving puzzles in like the other side, shall we say. Uh, the combat is the biggest problem in the game so far. It's just ass, <laughs> Absolute pickled ass. But eh, I, we're grin and bear it. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.